Is your name in this book of life? Is your name in this book of life? Yeah. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the general of ourselves, the redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insight to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Wednesday, the second day of February 2022. And our topic for today is the horrors of hell. Let us pray. Our Most High Father, the Maker of heaven and earth, the Almighty God, the One who reigns supreme, we bless, we magnify, and we glorify your name. To you alone be all the praise in Jesus' name. Our Father, we've come, desirous of your word again. We ask that your word would refresh us, speak to us, teach us, and put a sincere desire in us that we may have heaven consciousness at all times. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Mark chapter 9 verse 45. Mark chapter 9 verse 45 reads, And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Mark chapter 9 verse 45. And our scripture reading for today is from the book of Luke chapter 16 from verse 19 to 24. Luke chapter 16 verse 19 to 24 reads, There was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fed sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate, full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now to the body of our devotional today. Our Father and the Lord tells us, We discussed the wonders of heaven yesterday, concluding that it is better to experience them and avoid the horrors of hell by all means. Today, we shall look at some reasons we must avoid spending our eternity in hell. The horrors of hell are indeed many, but we shall consider only a few of them today. The first horror of hell that comes to mind can be found in Revelation chapter 20 verse 10 and chapter 21 verse 8. Hell is going to be a great gathering of all evil spirits and every abominable human being that ever lived on the face of the earth. The devil himself will be in that eternally miserable assembly. Just imagine being in the company of demons, witches and wizards and at the same time having all unrepentant wicked persons, warlords, cannibals, terrorists, and notorious killers who ever lived gathered together in a single location. Imagine the oppression, harassment, horror, and trembling that could characterize life in such a place. Everyone there would be in agonizing pain. Anger and misery will fill the entire place. There will be unspeakable weeping, and the expression of pain and agony. The Bible puts it this way in Matthew chapter 13 verse 50, And shall cast them into the furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. This takes us to the second horror of hell. The fire is unquenchable, the heat is terrible, the agony and pain are unbearable. Furthermore, this agonizing torment lasts forever. The terrible heat in hell makes a drop of water far more precious than billions of any currency in this world. The Bible in Luke chapter 16 verse 23 to 24 tells us that the rich man in hell lifts up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom, and cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue 
for I am tormented in this flame. The unquenchable fire of hell brought about horrifying agony and thirst in this rich man, so much so that he longed for just a drop of water to cool himself to no avail. Beloved, the only way to escape the horrors of hell is to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, surrender all to him and live a righteous life through the help of the Holy Spirit. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic again today is the horrors of hell. And yesterday, like our Father and the Lord mentioned, we studied the topic, Wonders of Heaven. We learned that the foundations of this great city are made of precious stones. The walls are high and mighty. The roads are made of pure gold. There is no need for the sun and the moon. The Lord himself is their light. There is no darkness, no weeping, no tears, no sorrow. There are no cares and worries of life over there. It is such a precious place to be. We also understand from scripture that our Lord Jesus has assured us he has gone to prepare a place for us. My prayer for us today is that our own space would not be vacant in the name of Jesus. Today we study the horrors of hell. It is worthy of note that in many of our churches today, the topic of hell and all that concerns it have not been given the kind of publicity that the weight of the matter requires. Hell is such a horrible place that you should not even desire an enemy to go there. In our devotional today, our Father and the Lord considers two horrors of hell. The first he tells us is that it is going to be a gathering of all evil spirits and every abominable human being that ever lived on the face of the earth. So you can imagine what kind of a congregation that would be. A congregation where you would have even the devil himself as a member. Brethren, there is absolutely no reason that should be reason enough to send you to hell. Not money, not fame, not the mundane things of this life. It is important that we note as well that a little sin could send a believer to the same hell that the devil will end up in. So dear believer, why should you continue in pretense? Why should you continue to permit that little sin, the one you are giving excuses for? Scripture says in Revelation chapter 21 verse 27, talking about heaven, that and they shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So the question today should be, is your name in that book of life? To thyself be true. Now to the second horror of hell which our Father and the Lord describes in today's devotional. He says this horror is the fact that the fire is unquenchable, the heat is terrible, the agony and pains are unbearable, and this torment would last forever. This is absolutely unimaginable, but it is true. And we are told the story of the rich man, Father Abraham and Lazarus today. We can learn some very important points from that story. One, just like our Father and the Lord mentions, is that even a drop of water to quench thirst would be valued above any amount of money on earth. So why go to hell because of this same money? May God grant us wisdom in the name of Jesus. Another point I would like us to see from that story is the fact that no amount of wealth is able to save a man from the agony of hell. The rich man while on earth had all the money he wanted. He fed on the best foods, he was clothed in the best of clothes. But all of them put together could not guard his soul from going to hell. He still ended up there. Woe to any man who trusts in his wealth and riches, because they would definitely fail. Taking another look at that story, if you read further down, you would learn that, first of all, he could recognize Lazarus, and he also knew that he had brethren on earth that needed to hear the good news. That means also that it is possible to have memory of times when the decision for heaven could have been made and it was ignored. That is even another terrible torment. My prayer for us today is that we would never find ourselves there in the name of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 13 verse 50, we are told that in that furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. I pray for us one more time that we would make heaven at last in Jesus' name. We would bow our heads and pray a very simple prayer today from the depths of our heart. We would say, Father, by your grace, I refuse to be a candidate of hell in Jesus' name. Pray it like you have never prayed before. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
by your grace and your mercy, by your help, I refuse in the name of Jesus to be a candidate of hell. Whatever seems to be luring us, the love for money, the love for the things of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Father, we call for an end and a separation from those things that can doom our soul in the name of Jesus. Father, by your grace and mercy, grant us the ability to remain on that narrow path for candidates of heaven. Lord, grant us the grace to be honest and true to you in our relationship with you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Most gracious Father, we want to thank you for your word today. Thank you for opening our eyes to the consciousness of heaven and the reality of hell. We ask, Lord, that whatever it takes to make heaven at last, by your grace and mercy, you would help us to make it there. Help us also that we would take as many as possible along. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. In our Bible in one year reading plan for today, read from the book of Leviticus chapter 8 down to chapter 10. Praise God. We also want to appreciate you for joining us today again. We trust that you have been blessed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Remember also that you could save someone from the agony of hell if you share this with them. Go forth today and live a heaven-conscious and heaven-bound life in Jesus' name. Have a great day ahead. See you tomorrow again and bye for now. Buried heart to see Jesus. Those whose garments glow with purity. Is your name in that book of life?